Hello there. In this particular lecture, we are going to learn about that how we can create our first React component. But before we write the code, let's first set up our React environment. So let's go step by step, right? Yeah. Now, first you click on the control plus backtick like this. And I'm having a root folder named React.js. And inside this, there's one more folder named tutorial. And we are going to create another folder inside of which we are going to keep our what React app, right? So for that, you simply need to write. Let me take this terminal a little bit. Oh, npm create white at the rate latest, right? And then put a enter. When you put an enter, you will get a project name. You simply write the name of the project, whatever you want. So I want to keep it project only, right? Project one, like this, and put an enter. Now after this, write the package name. Let's name it project also, project. Then put an enter. You will get to select a framework. I will select React as a framework, and you need to select a variant. And there are two main variants on which we work, mainly TypeScript and the JavaScript. But type is, TypeScript is for the advanced portion, right? As a beginner, we start with the JavaScript. So go with the JavaScript, click the enter. After this, you can see I'm getting three different commands to run. First is cd, cd project one. What this is doing, it is actually taking my React Sorry, we're taking my Visual Studio code inside this project one folder. You can see this folder is having some of the files. Now we are going to install the React right inside of this. It has created the environment here, right? So when I put the enter, we came inside this project one. You can see the three React JS and then the project one, right? Now after this, what we will write? We will write npm install and put a enter. Now your React app is now getting installed. So it might take some time. Let's pause the video for some time. And our React is now get installed. You can see. Now after this, one last command which you need to run is the npm run dev. Simply copy it and paste it here and put an enter. After entering it, you can see I am getting a host that is localhost 5173. So our server has started and this is our website link. Simply click on it and you can see this is the interface which you will get, right? Now this is how it is working We are when we are clicking on it. Well, this is how it, uh, it show me the default website of it, right? Now let's come up to understand that what it is having. So here, if you see you, this main.jsx, main.jsx is the entry file. It is also a component of React. You need to understand. But this is the main entry file. Whatever you do on the React, it get entered inside this main.jsx. You cannot do anything changes inside of it. Like you cannot remove it or delete this file. You have to keep it, right? And this app.jsx, well, this app.jsx is the main component. This was your entry file, main entry file, and this is your main React component. If you go to the main.jsx, you can see I'm calling this app.jsx. Import app from app.jsx. And this is your app.jsx, and this is your app function. So this is your main component, and this is your main entry file, main.jsx, right? I hope you understood the concept very clearly. Now, coming up to creating our first React component. So let's now begin uh, to create. Uh, so what we will create? We will create a simple component that is that will say that hello react like something like that. But before that, uh, let's remove everything from here. Whatever it is having. Like this. Uh, let's remove all this garbage also. Fine. Now everything is now clean. If I write anything in the app.jsx file and go to the website you can see i'm getting it here why do, why i am getting it here because there are some of the css in the index.css file also remove that also because index.css css part is imported inside this 
what main dot JSX. Let me move it from here also. You can see I'm getting this here on the top, right? Whatever I have written inside the app dot JSX. Now I want to change this, but I don't want to write that part here. I want to create a component, separate component, right? So for what? For that, what we'll do? We will simply go on the SRC and create a folder here and name it components. Click the enter. And now inside of this, I will create a file name. Let's say anything. Um, what I create, whatever you want, like hello.jsx. Put a JSX at the end in the React while creating a component, right? And now, when we write RAFCE, what is this RAFCE? It is a React Arrow Function Export Component, right? After writing it and putting the enter, you will get this template, right? Okay, it's hell. Sorry, I need to write the hello. Okay, let's leave it. It's just a name, right? So, after this, I can write anything here. Like, uh, let's say that this is the div. Inside of this, I'm having h2 and h2 is saying what? Hello, react. Like this. And again, if I go to the paragraph and I say that this is my first react component like this right and if i go to my app.jsx file and since i have created this component here and go to my website can you see the thing which i have written there hello react um, this is my first react component like this no it is not visible here why because we have not used it inside our main what main component right you simply need to import that so for importing what we will do we will write import and what is the name hell right so hell from component slash hell right like this and now after this if you want to use that for that you simply need to use the name as a tag this hell as a tag simply write the arrow button and then the hello sorry hell and then put a this close the tag right like this now if you go to the website and see I'm getting the component work here. Hello React, this is my first React component. Right? I hope you understood the concept that how we are creating our React component. Right? Now, one more thing that we can import a component inside another component. Like this is the component file which we were using inside this app.jsx. Now, I want to make another component which I make it enter inside of this particular component. For that what we'll do let's say uh, uh let's create another file name description dot jsx enter right let's rename it with capital d make sure that when you write the name always put the first letter first letter as capital right and put an enter like this now if you put rafc and put an enter here and okay it is again showing me in the small letter like this right now if i write here um, paragraph and let's copy this thing from here and paste it here right now so i have removed that line that this is my first react component from hell.jsx if i go to my website you can see i'm not getting this uh, paragraph here right so simply remove this paragraph I want to add that. So for that, what we'll do, we will simply go on the top and write import description from slash description. Well, again, it is showing me like this, right? Okay, let's leave it like, like that. And if I import it, then description. Now you can see, I'm getting the component here. Uh, whatever problem is coming is all because because uh, at the starting I have written the name with the small letter That's why it is showing me this kind of error, but it will not create any problem in your react app Make sure that every time you do the when you create your component always name it first with a capital letter Not with a small right. So this is also a part of your learning uh, And we have since imported it. So this is how it, it get imported here now our app.jsx has a component name hell and this hell is having another component named description and this description is having a part which is paragraph 
and this hell is having this heading and these both things are inside this app.jsx and this is how the game of whole component works inside your react as you can see here right so i hope you got the concept very clearly if you do then make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe the channel thank you so much for watching we'll meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye